Hey guys, Shadows here. Welcome back to another Gears 5 video. Today we are going to be discussing the Dominic Santiago character, classic Delta squad skins, a blood drive map and more in Gears 5. Just before we get into the video itself, we are just 90 YouTube subscribers away from 90 fans in total. Crazy stuff. If you guys want to really help me out right now and say that you were here before 90k, that time is now. The fourth content and seasonal operation is coming in hot as the Coercion Studio have begun to unveil what's next for Gears 5 in the close and soon future. Operation 4 Brothers in Arms is the official title confirmed to be arriving in less than a week on July 14th, bringing with it a ton of new content changes and improvements that will have every Gears fan past and present get something to look forward to. Recently, TC shared the first ever teaser trailer for the upcoming Operation 4, confirming the obvious in the completion of OG Delta Squad. Our boy Dominic Santiago is making his triumphant return next week on Tuesday. However, there are a few hidden details I wanted to break down and summarize what it means for the transformation that Gears 5 looks to be going through right now after what feels like a dragged out 9 months in the development oven. Firstly, to begin with, we start off with a player camera overview of classic, iconic Gears of War story. Queen Mira leading the Locust characters General Ram and Cantus into the battle against Classic Delta Squad. As we can see, Classic Marcus and Classic Cole charging into the carnage across the hallway. Of course, to also note as well, I do believe that this map environment setting is the new versus multiplayer arena map that will be debuting as the new map in Operation 4. It seems to give off a interesting, a similar vibe to maps such as Lift and Forge, which I think is a glimpse of maybe TC getting ready for a higher volume of maps. The trailer then continues into the match gameplay as despite a cloud of smoke, OG Gears fans alike will of course be able to tell that the hidden figure right now on screen is none other than the glorious return in Dominic Santiago as a new totem unlockable base character earnable for free beginning next Tuesday. A cool little detail I notice as we switch back to Mira's perspective. Her locust soldiers have seemed to evolve into a pack of elite swarm drones, while still also being led by Mira, which I think is a very cheeky nod to the ending of the Gears 5 campaign and where the story is actually going. If you did play close attention to Mira's origins, the locust origins in Act 2, and exactly what the return of Queen Mira in Act 4 does mean for the overall Gears story, you might actually get this reference right here. We get a much better close up view of the surrounding map that is also seemed to have this escape light flavor with the industrial piping and building structure scattered throughout the map itself. Next up, moving on in the trailer, the Dom Father has finally arrived again in Gears 5. Interestingly, it's showcasing the classic Dominic Santiago character skin variant compared to what I was expecting the Gears 3 Old Man Dom, which I still think, unless it gets stated otherwise by TC, that the older Dom character skin will be the base of Totem version. Classic Dom is of course looking great as per always. It does look like after the feedback on the Locust Cyclops character's glowing eye, that the iconic blue LED light on Dom's original armor is also beaming too. Brothers in Arms again as we do see what looks like Classic Delta Squad is very likely Classic Marcus, Classic Cole and Classic Dom will be skins inside Operation 4. But then at the very end we can actually see Classic Baird again who of course is a part of the OG Delta Squad. But being a character skin already released back in December last year in Operation 2's Tour of Duty, could this maybe be an indication that TC bringing back a majority of the older content from older operations? All answers to be revealed by TC later this week tomorrow on Thursday, July 9th. Now I don't know if this next tidbit of info is good or bad news depending on the Gears fan themselves. But it does in fact look like that Blood Drive is the returning old map in Operation 4. It's classic Delta Squad stand and post outside the nearby pillars and the entrances to the hospitals on either side. TC have since the teaser trailer last night on the official developer livestream have confirmed that Blood Drive is featured in the teaser trailer and is set to arrive next Tuesday as part of the Brothers in Arms operation. Dana, the head of communications at TC, had this to say on the developer livestream about Blood Drive last night being the following. And then now for today, so we had a tease out today. So we revealed, that's why I'm wearing my Delta Squad shirt today. So we revealed that Dom is coming back, which is great. I know everyone's very excited about that. There was also a sneak peek of another map inside of there, which is Blood Drive. So everyone picked up on that. Um, uh, for those of you that are asking why Blood Drive, we hate Blood Drive. The funny thing is about Blood Drive is 
for the amount that people complain, it ends up in Gears 4 was one of our most is one of the most consistently voted for maps in the yeah. uh, in the, um, the 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 map selection uh, system. Whenever people are choosing kind of before before a match, so as much as you guys don't like Blood Drive, uh, the, the silent majority in this scenario uh, rules that, which is why it was one of the ones that was decided to be a port. Please make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what you think. What is your guys' opinion on the Op4 teaser trailer and the reveal of Dominic Santiago, a new map, a blood drive, classic Delta squad, so much more arriving in at Gears 5. Operation 4 Brothers in Arms news and info is in full effect right now as the hype indeed builds and builds for this Tuesday. There is so much literally to cover that I'm going to do my best to bring you guys two to three videos every single day this week leading up to the new operation to have everything covered and understandable for all of you wonderful people. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel right now to not miss a single Gears video upload. We are literally on the road and doorstep of 90,000 YouTube subscribers. 90k Operation 4, let's make it happen. So there you have it guys, full details on the Dominic Santiago character, classic Delta Squad skins, a blood drive map and more in Gears 5. Good video, thumbs up and share if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you guys for watching and as always, I shall see you in the next one.